And you thought Kyogre was the one that makes it rain. Let's do this. All right, so we're up against USA 333. It's going to be uh, Dialga versus ho -Oh yet again. This seems to be my common lead for this team. Well, but anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and spam Dragon Breath. As you can see, I switched over to Draco Meteor from my last short with this. We're going to go ahead and shield. They go for the Sacred Fire to get the debuff. I knew it was going to be something big because that's what they always lead with with ho -Oh for some reason. I don't even know why they lead with ho -Oh. They should be using it in the back end because of its charge moves. It just screams, use me when I don't have any shields left. When the opponent doesn't have any shields left. Anyway, I'm just going to keep going for some more uh, Dragon Breath spam. Go for the Iron Head to see if I can bait a shield slash make them faint. And looks like they burned their other shield. I'm going to switch over to Groudon here just to preserve my Dialga. We're going to eat that Sacred Fire and then get an attack debuff, I believe. Well, either way, I'm just going to have to sacrifice the Groudon here. I tried to go for an Earthquake, but I just couldn't get there quick enough. So in comes my Dialga, and then I'm going to go for the Draco Meteor to make it rain. See, I did the thing in 3, 2, 1. Pew! Down it goes. In comes their Dialga. I get farmed down. So I'm just going to bring in Togekiss. It looks like we're going to have to eat one of those uh, Iron Heads here. Especially since it's my only hope here. So we're going to farm down. And then we get here. Oh, he switched to ho -Oh at just the perfect time so I can get that extra energy gain. So I can get the Flamethrower. And because they switched, I was able to get the energy to win the game.